Howdy folks, Stock here with Last Best Tool. And um, when I did the video on this S-Wing kind of lineman hammer, somebody first asked, "Is how do you know it's a lineman hammer? It doesn't have any of the lineman features. And those would be the features um, that are common, like say on this Milwaukee lineman hammer. Uh, well, I just called it a lineman hammer because that's what S-Wing calls it on their website and that's what Amazon calls it or whoever sells these on Amazon. But anyway, this is... The one that arrived, if you recall that video, with the kind of scorch mark on the side and uh, kind of a, it looks like a, a, well, a round sphere shape embedded into the head right there. Anyway, um, the YouTube channel Funk FPV, absolutely hilarious. If you don't uh, already watch the guy, I'm sure you do. But anyway, he said, he wondered about a couple of things and one of them was if this was made with recycled materials uh, including ball bearings and perhaps that was a uh, ball bearing or something that was uh, molded or melted into uh, maybe a softer material so it didn't fully form and then we see the exposed area when it's ground down that's actually common you if you deal with with um, minerals as you're grinding them if you do any lapidary work or um, you know, in the space sciences with meteorites and chondrites and stuff like that, you'll actually get things like that. Anyway, so he suggested um, maybe, or maybe I did when I was talking to him, um, uh, using my hardness testers to see if that's different steel, if that piece there is different steel than the rest. Um, anyway, so I've got a, um, a hardness set here. Hardness, uh, I think that's uh, Sobosan. Sabasan, made in Japan. Um, it's HRC 40 to 65. This is a great set. Uh, it's affordable, real simple. It uses a file design where each of these files is a very specific hardness and you just simply try to scratch the material. If this scratches the material, then it is softer than 40. Uh, and then you just, I can't go any lower than 40. And if it doesn't scratch a material, it's harder than 40. So you just work your way through this. So here is a, you know, one of my favorite old S wings here. This is a four pound, uh, drilling hammer. Um, and to save some time, here is a 55. As you can see, I, this is an edge that I've, I've, uh, dressed up because it was getting pretty messed up. Um, let's see if I can hold this thing still here so you can watch. But anyway, um, this is scratching it. I can feel it. I guess let me, it's a little hard to see. But anyway, um, it is scratching the surface right there. That's the 55. Here is the 50. You can see right there. And this just slides off of it like ice. So, that is what this hardness is. So that's where I'm gonna start here. And I haven't done this yet, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna take my 55 here and I'll start on this other side, this other face here, um, and just slide it on there. And as you can see, you have to make sure that it's scratching the material and not a coating or something. So it is scratching that. I've gone down to the 50 here. I'll go you can see that focus. I'll go next to it. Mm. I mean, you can see that it's marring it. Is that? I'm going to go to an edge and see up here. Nope, nothing. So it seems to be a 55 there. So now what I'm going to do is go to that, that inclusion right here and try to test that. So I'll start with my, actually I'll start with the 50. Well, I'll start with the 55. My guess is maybe it's harder if it is. So first of all, I'll go just outside it and try to scratch. And now I'll go inside it. Okay, there, there is the, out, the outside right there. This did not scratch it. Well, is it? Let me see. It seems to be scoring the top. I'm going to go 
up one and make it obvious. So I've got the 60 here. So this 60 has no trouble right there. And no trouble right there. Go back to my 50 or 55. And then I've got a, yep. So the result, that actually is the same hardness as far as I can tell. So the ball bearing still could be, but it's not so hard. It's some other uh, artifact. The other thing I wanted to see if there was a difference on this side with the area that uh, is burned there, if it changed a heat treatment or anything. So I've got my 55 again. So I'll scratch it a little there, no problem. I'm gonna go down to 50. Is that just taken off the top? That's, that's scratch it looks like. I'm gonna do my 60 here just because it gives you the feel of what it's like to grab the material. Okay, go back to my 50 now. Uh, I don't think so. Well, actually, there's a... Huh. That's interesting. Okay, what's happening here is, right, it is... It's this second one down, right there, right above my thumbnail. It did scratch there. It did not scratch up here where I did it. So this might be a little bit softer, but not much. Um, anyway, that's the uh, adventures in tooling here with this S-Wing. Um, I still haven't decided what I'm going to do. I haven't heard from S-Wing. I haven't contacted them, but I didn't. I just wanted to see if they watched the videos. Uh, but I think I will probably get it swapped out for uh, one that is less questionable. Um, anyway, and I'll put a link for this down below. Uh, this was one of the more affordable ones I could find on Amazon. You can get a lot of different kinds. Um, and ones that go way down into softer materials and even, um, you know, synthetic materials and then ones that go way higher uh, if you're doing, you know, special blades and things like that um, for these uh, hardness testers. And with that, Doc out.